Good shot indeed. How's it going everyone? The Green Scorpion here and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Mario Golf. Um, so you, many of you guys are probably wondering, you got, you're playing Mario Golf? Why? Well, the thing about this game is that it's actually one of the most nostalgic games to me. Like, this was, this game was a really big part of my childhood. Um, and I always liked this intro, like, I, I used to, when, when I was a kid, like, I was, like, I, I don't remember how old I was when I first played this game. I was, like, I was, like, ten years old. But, um, I remember watching this intro, and I, and I remember, uh, always, uh, restarting the console just so I can watch this intro, because I liked it a lot. And especially this part, because, yeah, right there, you hear uh, Baby Mario sending uh, his ball. And then, yeah. I, I always found this incredibly adorable. <laughs> but, yeah, um... So, once once this intro's through, like, we can, we can go ahead and start playing, but, um... Yeah, like, I'm, I'm gonna go over some details about why I'm actually playing this game. Oh, poor Luigi. Always were the underdog, weren't you? Thank you very much, Mario. That's right, welcome to Mario Golf. So, let's get right into it. So, many of you guys probably know what this is already. I mean, this, this is basically Mario Golf. You're playing golf with, uh, with uh, the Mario cast right here. I don't have everything unlocked, honestly, because... Don't even get me started with how difficult it is to unlock characters in this game. Like, I, I don't even want to go through it. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. So, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be going through all of the courses in this game, and I'm going to be playing as Plum. And the reason I'm playing as Plum is one I'll get to in a minute, so let's get into it. Um, so yeah, like, we got a bunch of options here, like, there it is, get character, ring shot, and everything, but I'm just gonna go be, be going through the tournaments and going through all of these courses. I've gotten them all, but I'm gonna go through them in order. Now, here's the main reason I actually decided to start playing this game. Um, thing is, like, you guys remember my, uh, Q&A videos. I kinda stopped doing those, mainly because I kinda lost interest in doing them all, uh, the way I was doing. Like, it, it's not that they were a bad thing or anything. It's not that I lost, uh, I think, uh, that it was a bad idea to do it. It's just, it, I kinda lost interest in, do, in uh, doing it the way I was doing, and along the way, I decided that I really wanted to Let's Play this game. I just didn't exactly know how. I mean, how are you gonna let's play a Mario a Mario Golf? I mean, it's basically just golf. What are you gonna do? Like, so, because I, I was kind of like racking my brain around how it would do the commentary and everything. Then I decided, you know what? There's still a bunch of questions that people have been asking me on my Q&A videos, and I, I haven't really gotten to them. So I decided, you know what? Let's play Mario Golf, and I'll and while I'm playing it, as I'm going through um. As I'm going through the courses, I'll be play I'll be answering your the questions that I've collected and you know, just going through them. Ba basically like story time in Mario Golf. So yeah, let's get started and we're going to start at Toad Tournament. Let's go. So yeah, like just just a quick background. Like this is actually I, I absolutely love this game. It it was one of my favorites when I was a child. And pertaining to what I was talking about before, the reason I'm playing is Plum is because, oh man, I gotta remember how to play this, um, is because she was actually my favorite character to play as when I was a, when I was a, when I was a kid. Um, I always wondered who Plum was, and, like, you know, the whole, what, what's, ex what exactly is her story? A lot of people speculate that she's, um, that she's, uh, Peach's cousin or something like that, and I can see why. I mean, you got Peach, and then you got Plum, they're both named after fruits, but, um, yeah, I, I, it's something I've always wondered, and uh, playing through the game, like I always found that Plum was one of my better characters. I mean, I like playing as char I like playing as a character that has a straight shot, as opposed to like someone like Wario who has like a ridiculous curve on his shot. That that's the reason why I'm going to be playing as Plum because one, she's my favorite character to play as in this game, and two, well, I don't think she's in the spotlight. And like, I mean, what happened to her? Like, she's pretty much long gone. Um, I'm, uh, probably should use the middle shot. Um, yeah, like, th this is one of the biggest, uh, things about Mario Golf. Like, it's actually very analytical, but this is the kind of thing I like doing, um, 
when, I, when like, I'm having a bad day and I just, like, need to wind down a bit. And that's going in, isn't it? Yep, got it! <laughs> nice birdie there. But yeah, this is a game I like to play, like, on my off time, like, when I'm having a bad day or I need to wind down a bit. Mario Golf is a nice game to relax on, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, I'm basically here. Hope you guys uh, enjoy watching, and, um, yeah. And, oh yeah, like, I might as well mention, the, the reason I'm going to only be playing as Plum is because, again, my best character in this game, the only character I actually really know how to use in this game, and... Uh, if I hit it hard, that could have been a hole-in-one, but, nice eh, what are you gonna do? But, yeah, um, I don't really have any interest in playing the other games, and Plum kind of fell off the face of the map. I mean, she was mentioned in Super Smash Bros. Melee as a trophy, but other than that, she never made another appearance, and I really do wonder what her story was. I kind of wish that the that Nintendo brought her back, uh, like, in the future Mario games, and I got it! Okay, I thought it was too strong for a second. But, yeah, that's that's pretty much the case. Now, let's say we start getting to user questions, shall we? And, just so you guys know, yes, I will be accepting new questions um, as I, like, as this series goes. I mean, I'm pretty much going to be playing through all the courses, and it's going to take a long time, so i got a lot of questions to go through. So, let's say we get started. Um, Big Mac Attack asks, will you buy any of the next-gen consoles? I do plan on it. Um... Simply put, the Wii U is the one I want to get, because I haven't gotten it yet, and especially after watching uh, Quarter Guy's Top 10 Games of 2013, there were plenty of, um, th there were plenty of uh, Wii U games that I really, really wanted to get into. Um, especially Wonderful 101, because I played that game with one of my friends uh, a little while ago, and I was so impressed by what it was. I mean, I, I love Platinum Games as a whole, and... To see them be able to do something like that is amazing. So I do plan on getting a Wii U, and since I got a new job here in Philadelphia, and uh, and the hours I'm going to be getting, along with uh, along with uh, you know doing this as a whole, doing this whole channel as a uh, yeah man, I'm stuttering over my words. Sorry. I guess this is what they mean by um, trying to commentate while you're playing a video game. It's not as easy as people say it is, or people think it is. Um. I was actually discussing uh, things with uh, some other people, uh, Rabbit Luigi actually, uh, uh, when, when we did the Twilight Princess uh, uh, Cable Board Deals race, we pretty much acknowledged the fact that commentating while you're playing is not the easiest thing to do. He honestly does it better than I do. I'm really impressed with what he does with his Let's Plays. But um, yeah, the Wii U is basically the console I really want to get uh, once I have enough money, and According to what I'm going to be getting over the next uh, few months, I should be able to get it not relatively soon, but somewhere along the lines. So yeah, like, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Alright, um, let me take this shot real quick and I'll get to the next question. Nice, there we go. Yeah, I think rain causes your shots to be a little more difficult to pull off in this game. Uh, hence the red bar is a little shorter, even though I'm on the fairway. Oh, no, no it's not. Eh, just a hunch. Anyway, next question is from Anime Snowball. When you're going through a depressive state, what do you do to try and cheer yourself up? Um, that's a good question, actually. I do several things. Um, well, play video games is one thing, but usually, like, when I'm in a depressive state, I don't like to play a game that, like, involves a lot of, like, energy or... Ah, dang, I was trying to get it on the rough... on the green. Like, I don't try to play a game that, like, has a lot of, uh that requires a lot of energy or anything like that, because, like, try playing a game when you're having a bad day on League of Legends. That's a bad idea. Never play League of Legends when you're frustrated. Oh! Pin shot! That was awesome. Alright, I should be able to get this on a birdie. And there it is. But anyway, yeah, like, this is actually the kind of game I would like to play when I'm on a bad day, because it's nice and relaxing, the music's soothing, it's, it's not too stressful or anything like that. It's just a simple game that you can just enjoy on your off time and, you know, just have a good time. Animal Crossing is another one that's nice. Other things I like to do, I kind of like to just, like, sit in my room and just kind of, like, sit there and do nothing. Um, I guess you could call it medit- I guess some people call it meditating, but, um... One, one thing I actually do like doing, um, many of you guys might not know this, or m some of you guys actually do, honestly. But I am a, I am a Christian, and one thing I like to do is kind of, like... 
not necessarily pray to God, you know what I mean? But rather, um, I, I like to just sit there and, and like, kind of have a normal conversation. Like, talk to God like he's right there in the room next to me. It, it It's actually... It's actually a lot more relaxing than you think, you know what I mean? That this this actually happened to me one day when I was uh, I, I was having a really bad day uh, after school in t in Philadelphia. I'm not gonna go into detail, but I was having a bad day, and once I came back to my apartment, I was like, I just sat down and just kind of had a conversation with God. It, it may sound silly, but it was surprisingly effective, and I felt real I felt really good afterwards. So yeah, those are the kind of things I like to do. Just walk outside, or play a nice soothing video game like this one, or Animal Crossing, or whatnot, or just talk to my god and ask for, you know, ask for guidance in times like, in times like that.